Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland tag. So I know it seems like I've been doing a lot of tags lately. That is because I had recently filmed two tags that I was not tagged in and then over the period of a couple of weeks I was actually tagged in like three different videos. That's why there's an abundance of tags. I hope you don't mind at all. I personally love doing tags. They are one of the things that first attracted me to booktube. I was tagged by my name twin Vanessa over at Paper Fairy. She's super awesome. I'll leave a link to her videos so you can check it out. She had some really good answers for this tag and I will also leave of course the creators tag in the description as well. First question is Alice. Read a quote from your favorite strong female protagonist. I can't say she is my favorite strong female protagonist because there are so many awesome ones out there but I am going to pick the one who I have a favorite quote from that is Emma Carstairs from Lady Midnight. She's amazing, and one of my favorite quotes is something I don't even need to look up, but I just grab the book, because why not wave around a Cassandra Clare book? Any excuse to do so, I will. My favorite quote from Emma is, I am a shadow hunter, quip fast, die young. And I don't know if your quote's supposed to be like deep and meaningful, but I just love that quote because it is super funny. The White Rabbit, a book everyone has read that you are late to the party on. Uh, I have a whole video called Popular Books I haven't read yet, that I will link because I'm late to a lot of books. But I'm just going to mention the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan because I just, I need to read the series. Down the rabbit hole, read your favorite first book sentence. First sentence in a book, I'm assuming, is what that means. I don't have one because most books I read, the first sentence isn't what draws me in. It's What's the first sentence of Lady Midnight? Let's just wave Lady Midnight around again. Shadow Market Nights were Kit's favorite. How about the actual, not the prologue? Just not working out, this relationship I mean. That's not, that's not a good one either. That's not the best, but it's pretty good. Please tell me that's not going to be a part of my birthday dinner this evening. I'm gonna go with that one because I don't memorize first sentences. Drink me. Go and make your favorite thing to drink while reading tea, coffee, other, and come back and show us. Ah, uh, that's a lot of work. I'm not gonna do that since everything's set up around me. And one of my favorite drinks is something I don't even have right now, and that is strawberry or raspberry lemonade. And also, I like this tea. I'm gonna show you the box since I recently finished the box. And that is Bigelow pomegranate green tea. Yes, it's decaf because I try not to drink too much caffeine. I know I'm one of those annoyingly healthy people. But yeah, this green tea with pomegranate, it's so delicious. I love it so much. I actually, especially in like summer months, I love drinking it iced. So I'll just like make a whole pitcher full of it. The Caterpillar. Name a character who gives good advice and a character who needs it. I'm going to go with Dumbledore from Harry Potter as a character who gives good advice because I was thinking about this for a while and I couldn't really think of many books where somebody actually gives really good advice. I read a lot of YA and a lot of them do give each other advice, but I don't know that it's good advice. But Dumbledore usually gives good advice. He gives slightly vague advice, but it's still pretty good advice. Like, do not dwell on dreams and forget to live. That's a good one. And Dumbledore just has so many good quotes. So I'm going to go with Dumbledore and a character that needs good advice. Uh, are you tired of this book yet? That would be Emma again. Emma Carstairs and if you've read the end of this book you know what I'm talking about because like she needs to tell the truth. <sighs> the Cheshire Cat. Try and give a six word explanation of a book that confused you. I could not think of a book that confused me. Like I know I've read books that have confused me in the past but I can't think of one. So I'm gonna go with a movie and this is like one of my most standard confusing movies. It was actually a very disappointing movie for me. That is Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End and my six word explanation is what's happened to my favorite series. I 
still couldn't tell you what's going on in that movie. It's so confusing. Like, I understand parts of it, but, like, a lot of the stuff that was happening didn't make any sense, so. The March Hare and Mad Hatter. A fictional friendship you wish you could join in on. This one's the easiest to reach, so. I'm gonna go with the crew from the Lunar Chronicles because their friendship is so adorable and so much fun, and I just want to hang out with all of them. They seem so accepting to different people, and so just hang out and just be friends. Dormouse, a book that put you to sleep. I don't, I have it, but I did it for one of my classes in college called Viking Sagas. I had to read a bunch of Viking Sagas, which sounds fun, but those sagas, I fell asleep every time. I could not study for that class because I kept falling asleep. It doesn't matter what time I would try and read it. It's basically like you think Viking Saga sounds fun and interesting, but it's really just like a lineage of like all of these people are the son of people and then they have three sons and all three sons have the same name and everyone has the same name and there are like 50 characters with the same name and I can't keep track of any of them and then they fight for like two seconds and I was like, and then he fought him. And then they gave birth to two more sons with the same name, and it was so boring and so confusing. I guess that would be a book that confused me. Do not recommend. The Queen of Hearts, a book you would decree as compulsory reading. Everything Cassandra Clare has ever written, I think I say that all the time, but that's my default answer because I feel like everyone has already read Harry Potter, but that too. Basically just read all my favorite books read my favorites and then we can talk about them. The Mock Turtle. Be brave and read a quote or passage that made you cry. I don't always cry in books. When I say I cried in a book, that meant I like teared up a little bit and maybe like one or two tears fell because I'm not a huge book crier, but I like kind of get like teary-eyed. I reread The Deathly Hallows for like the first time in 10 years this past summer and that one line, that Dobby says, what a beautiful place to be with friends. That got me. Cause this poor little elf, like, he's so brave. The flowers, show us a pretty book cover. This one's pretty. This book was really disappointing, but the cover's pretty. The Walrus and the Carpenter. I don't even remember these people. Were they in the cartoon? Because I didn't read the book. I only read the cartoon. A character whose original appearance was deceptive. I'm going to go with Sebastian from City of Glass. Because we all know why. And I'm also going to go with good old Queen Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles. Whose appearance is literally deceptive. Like, she doesn't look how she looks. And on, on birthdays, a book you would gladly read every day of the year. Anything on my shelf. The White Knight. A character that everyone laughs at who deserves, but who deserves better. Again, I don't, was the White Knight in the cartoon? I haven't watched the cartoon forever. Well, the most recent <laughs> Alice in Wonderland movie I've watched is Through the Looking Glass, like the live action one. And before that, the most recent one I watched was the live action Tim Burton one. A character that everyone laughs at who deserves better. I thought about this a lot. Again, I cannot think of a book character. But I'm gonna go with TV because I'm a rebel. And that is Wesley from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He comes in season three and he's supposed to be Buffy's watcher when like Giles, her actual watcher, gets in trouble with the Watcher's Council, and so like he's not, Giles isn't like fit to train Buffy anymore, and so they bring in this other guy, Wesley, and he is like this stuck up young guy, and he tries so hard to like get Buffy to listen to him, but nobody will give him the time of day. He's technically her watcher and in charge of her, but like she doesn't do what he says, and instead she goes to Giles for advice anyway, and it is just hilarious. But I do feel kind of bad for him because he's just this guy who's trying to do his job and like nobody will listen to him and no one takes him seriously because he is pretty young and I think he's like recently graduated from like the Watcher Academy or whatever. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for him because he gets like no respect. No respect at all and it's pretty hilarious. Also his character development in the series Angel because he goes it to be in the spin-off series Angel 
It's just phenomenal, and he becomes such a good character. Like, I'm gonna put a picture of, like, him and Buffy, and then him and Angel. He just, he grows so much. His character development is amazing, and so I always do feel kind of bad when I, like, rewatch season three of Buffy, and everyone's laughing at him. I'm like, oh, Wesley, how you change. But we all know that Giles is her one true watcher. Alright, that is it for the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland tag. Thank you so much to Vanessa for tagging me in this. It was a lot of fun and I don't know who to tag. I have a lot of people who I watch on booktube who I could tag, but I don't remember who likes Alice in Wonderland. I'm a terrible person. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you just like Alice in Wonderland, and I upload new videos on Mondays plus the occasional surprise video, so please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye!